Hello and welcome to another video of Power BI beginner tutorial and in this video we are going to discuss one more Power Query function that is list.repeat. Okay, let's jump onto the Power BI and under the home tab transform data transform data I'm going to open Power Query. So list.repeat uh, is a function that's going to repeat a list. So first let's uh, create an example and try to understand what does it do. So uh, let me do one thing, new sources and blank query. And in this blank query, once I create, I right click query five, right click and say advanced editor. And here I'm going to create a list first of all. So, and simplest way of creating a list, I, in the uh, angular brackets, I give select one, two, three, and four. This is how I give a list. Now, and I say return source, right now source is a list, so it's going to return me a list. And you can see the difference, this is a table as marked like this, and this is a list. So I got a list. Now, what I want here is to do is to uh, repeat this list. So there is an operation list.repeat, and I'm going to do it in the next step. So I say comma, and I enter, and get new line, and I say list one. And here I'm going to say list.repeat. And what does list dot repeat needs? So it needs a list and count of number, number of times it needs to repeat. So I have a list source and you need to be a little bit careful about the names. Power query is case sensitive. And let me say I want to repeat it twice. Okay. So two times I want to repeat this list. And I say done. And what I have not done here is I have not written the list one and if I don't return the last step it's going to give me the same result which is this one so now I'm going to return the list one and you can see it's repeated two times so the list has been repeated two times let me go to advanced editor and let me say what happens if I repeat it four times four six so same so what happens is same list is been repeated four times one below another so it's a kind of looped four times it good it's a numeric list can I do the same with the text list let me try out that so a comma B and I'm giving it in double quotes it's a string so I'm going to give it in double quotes and D so a B C D and I say so so repeat it four times a, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. I'm getting it four times now. So list is getting repeated four times. Now. Can I take a column from another table? And can I repeat that? Okay, so I have this column A1 or maybe A2, which is 1, 3, 5, and 7, or 1, 2, 4, and 7. Can I do the same operation on that? So I go back to query 5, right click, and say advanced editor. And let me write down a common, let me write down a new line. I don't want to change this one. So let me create list two. And list two is nothing but list dot repeat. And I ins this time I'm not going to give the list which I'm created here. I'm going to want to use data A1. And I'm going to say repeat that twice. And then I I come here and say instead of list one return me list two list two is already available you can see the name here what I'm saying is I want a column and once you take this table and column name it can actually be treated as a list in power query so now let's press done and now you see one three five and seven and one three five and seven are getting repeated here so you taken a list from a table column which was this one and used it and you're able to repeat that. So you will be able to do this repeat operation and you can repeat, let's say you have certain things, you want to repeat it multiple times. Uh, you have a simple operation list or repeat. If you have certain things in column and you want to repeat it uh, some number of times, you can do it. Okay. Now, typically we are not going to deal with the list in the visualization part of it. We want to deal with the tables. So what should I do here? I will go here on this list and say two table. So it will get converted into two tables. I'm going to leave it with the default options. So it's gotten converted into the table. You can say table from list, list, splitter dot, split nothing, null, null, extra values dot error. And then I can say close and apply. 
So in this manner, you can use this function list dot repeat. Go ahead and try this out. Do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.